to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a first-person action-adventure game that invites you to explore the engaging world of Avatar in an immersive open-world experience. I'm Didi Deanfeld, game director, and I'm excited to reveal what's waiting for you on Pandora. The story of our game begins when the RDA expands their operations to the western frontier. John Mercer, one of the leaders of the RDA, abducts you and other Navi children from your home to teach you the ways of humans, hoping to mold you and turn you against your own people. But his plan is interrupted by the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryosleep. When you awaken 15 years later, you are a stranger in your birthplace. Knowing the dangers posed by the RDA, you set out to take them down and look to secure the help of other Navi clans. Initially, you're perceived as an outsider, so you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage to gain their trust. On your adventure, you'll find your own path as you discover what it means to be Navi. You'll explore new regions of Pandora, each with their own unique biomes. The Kinglaw Forest is a lush rainforest brimming with life and dense vegetation in the shade of awe-inspiring floating mountains. This is the home of the Aranahe, a clan of peaceful weavers who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight. The Aranahe will show you the way to the Rookery, where you can bond for life with your very own Ikram. The Ikram is a devoted companion that you can name, feed, and customize. Experiment with acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive from the sky and explore the open world of Pandora from the air. If you travel north, you'll get to the Upper Plains, an expansive grassland filled with contrasts and open views as far as the eye can see. The nomadic Seswa clan live here in symbiosis with gigantic beasts called Sakru. Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. And further west, the mysterious clouded forest, where hidden in the mist, nothing is as it seems. Here lives the Kamatiri, a clan of healers with their own dark reasons to stay hidden. RDA operations are threatening the balance of Pandora. They build facilities of all sizes to exploit resources at any cost, spreading devastating pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. You'll need to stop the RDA from ravaging your home. And when you are ready, you will take the fight to them. As a child of two worlds, you can learn to master multiple combat styles. Your powerful instincts allow you to get an overview of the battlefield, mark your enemies, and identify weak points. Traditional Navi weapons are versatile and precise. You can use the longbow to hit long-range targets or the staff sling to set up traps. For a more explosive approach, you can leverage your human training and go for the blast of an assault rifle, a shotgun, or go bigger with the occasional rocket launcher. On foot, you can also rely on your incredible strength to take down amp units. Above the clouds, your Ikran will help you in aerial combat against the RDA. Destroying RDA facilities will have a tangible impact on your world. With the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You will be able to harvest the best quality material again and craft better gear and weapons. You will also find ingredients to cook and make meals to get stronger. As you keep discovering what it truly means to become Navi, you'll improve your skills by connecting to Ewa through the Tarshu plant and learn from the memories of your ancestors. Skill upgrades can improve many aspects of your character, such as your natural agility to move through the world, your stealth approach when hunting or fighting, or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a captivating action-adventure game designed to maximize the power of new-gen consoles and PC. You will be able to play the full story campaign in single-player, 
or with a friend online in two-player co-op. We invite you to explore this world of wonder. Become Navi and take down the RDA to protect Pandora. The RDA's greed poisoned our world. Secure the perimeter. They took everything from us. From me. I was trained in their ways. Their technology. Their weapons. Things that a Na'vi should not know. And then one day, they left. Hell's Gate is under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Na'vi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. And there I remained for 15 years. Until one day, I awoke. And I was free. Free to explore my world. Free to decide who I was going to be. Free to discover what I was meant to do. Now you see what they kept you from. Your true home. under attack again. Don't let the Na'vi get in our way. Get rid of them. And I have a choice to make. I choose to protect my home. Two worlds. I am no longer. I am Navi. Sivako.
world of Avatar that James Cameron and his team at Lightstone brought to life is epic in so many ways. It's brimming with life, it's bioluminescent at night, and it's majestic in scale as it is rich in details. As the world of Avatar is so different from anything we've done before, we had to do some major upgrades and big improvements to our engine. In the past, Snowdrop allowed us to build amazing cities, but to capture the natural beauty of Pandora, we needed to push Snowdrop even further. We have created the Pandora that you can experience from the deep, dense jungles on the ground to the grand vistas high up in the skies. So with Snowdrop, using the microdetail system, we can propagate thousands of assets in one frame. This allows us to have a lot more highly detailed environment for Pandora. For the game, we created a varied amount of vegetation using automated placement, and this is significantly more objects than we ever had before. So by moving visibility testing to the GPU, we can now process way more objects per frame. So the advantage of Snowdrop is that it can handle quite complex shaders. To add more life to the vegetation of Pandora, we created many interactive shaders that can be affected by the player, from real-time wind simulations and interactions to intelligent plants reacting to your presence. We don't just explore jungles on the ground, we also get to fly our bunch. So we added a new volumetric cloud system in Snowdrop to improve the visual quality of our sky. With ray tracing, we can now illuminate Pandora in a way we never could before. This way we can have real light reflect from the emission and the bioluminescence coming out from the plants, making Pandora more vibrant and more realistic. Real-time ray tracing allows us to greatly improve lighting in our game. Ray traced global illumination and reflections make our game appear more naturally lit and more photorealistic, even when there are dynamic objects, dynamic weather or time of day. The different activities that NPCs can perform in the world and the different animations they have can make the world feel really alive. So for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, we wanted to take this one step further and created a system where our NPCs understand the state of the world. For example, weather, player progression or time of day. The teams at Ubisoft have done a fantastic job improving Snowdrop. In every project we do, we push the engine further. But Avatar Frontiers and Pandora is without a doubt the biggest leap we've made so far. And we believe it will provide our players with a truly immersive Avatar experience on the new generation of hardware.